Today, we're going to be taking alginate impressions on our patient for study models. We have our setup over here. We have different size trays to try into the patient's mouth to make sure they fit. We have our water at the three mark. We have our alginate. We're going to fluff it and then put three scoops in each bowl. I'm going to put on gloves and then try in the trays in the patient's mouth, see which trays we need, and then get our alginate ready. All right. How are you today? Good. How are you? Okay. All right. So I'm going to start off with the yellow. I'm going to, the impression itself is taken from the back, but I'm going to try it in from the front. I'm going to raise her up just a little bit. Actually, I'll leave you right there. Take my finger, I'm going to attract her cheek, and then try to go in this way with the tray. I can see that that's way too big for her mouth. So we're going to try the next size. We have a little bit smaller. Again, I'm going to attract her cheek. in here and this one goes right in. We're going to keep my finger here. We want to make sure her lips aren't in the way and we're not hitting anything, but this is hitting the sides of her arches. So this is not fit. Sorry, don't want to hurt you. You're good. So we're getting one more size. Okay, so that tray didn't fit. It was too small. It hit her tori on her maxillary. So I'm going to try a different tray. This one's just a little bit wider than that one. So we're gonna see if we can place it in with some comfort. Retract her cheek, going to go in and go up. Make sure I don't hurt her. And how does that feel on you? Uh-huh. I wanna make sure we don't, we are not having anything hold us up and everything's covered from here. You wanna make sure that the back of the molar is covered. Also, open just a little bit bigger if you can. Great. All right. This one's good. So I'm gonna put those two to the side and this one right here. I'm gonna take this lower and try this one in too. Tore it on the bottom. Yep. Retract, same way to try it in. I'm gonna keep her lip here. Lift your tongue for me. How does that feel? Uh-huh. I'm not rubbing and the back molar is covered. All right, great job. Patient has a couple paper towels. I'm going to change my gloves because I had my hands in her mouth before we touch our alginate container. Don't want to cross contaminate anything. I'm going to put these on. Possibly. We always fluff our alginate before. I'm gonna hold on tight to the lid, turn it upside down and back again. And that fluffs our powder. Our little scoopers in here. We're gonna get three scoops of alginate into each bowl. <clears throat> Just going to scoop it, level it off, and there's our scoop. Be prepared for your upper and lower if for any reason you need more class um, alginate or not you have it in another bowl you're always going to put your lid back on the alginate so the moisture doesn't get inside of it while you're mixing your impressions all right i'm going to take your upper first the upper is taken behind her so i'm going to mix the alginate and then place the end so i'm going to Take my water into my alginate, hold on to the bottom of my bowl, and mix it. Mix it into the middle, try not to make too much of a mess. I'm gonna go backwards and forth. You wanna incorporate all the water into the powder. Use your bowl. Your bowl is your friend. It helps you make these impressions nice. Once it's all smooth and ready, 
scoop out as much as you can, put it into your tray, lock it out the sides just a little bit. You don't need it all. And we're gonna go take her impression. I'm gonna come from behind her, retract her cheek, go in. I'm gonna line it up in the middle, all the way up, and wrap her lip around it. You okay? We're here behind her, so if the patient started to choke or gag, we could take our arms and head and lean her forward. Get her slightly rubbed down on her lip to get that muscle trimming, that lip roll. You're doing great, breathe through your nose. The, I lined it up for the midline. Straight down here, there's a little groove in the front. We wanna make sure it's all lined up with that midline so we're straight. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. Gonna take my fingernail and see if I can push it into the alginate. It seems like it's already set up. It's a fast set alginate. And I'm going to put my finger on her lower teeth so when I take this out, I don't hit her. This is our extra for our lip roll. We have all of her teeth in there. This is her palette. I have a little space here. Doesn't look so bad, but it'd be good for study models or bleaching trays. We're gonna go on to our... Uh, we're just gonna sit here for just a moment and then we'll pour them up. Your spatula can be cleaned by just a paper towel wipe. Nice and clean to go on to our next impression. When we place our lower tray, I'm going to show you how to hold it. We're gonna go ahead and mix. Mix, 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 use your bowl. Spatulate, lade it, spatulate it <laughs> on the sides. Make sure it's nice, all the powder is mixed and it's nice and smooth. Again, we're gonna load this from the side. Squish out a little bit. You don't need too much. This one we're gonna take from the front. I'm going to retract her cheek, go in this way, all the way back from the distal to the front and lay it down, push down, lift your tongue up, make sure her lip, one finger on each side and rub her lip up. Make sure it's aligned with the midline, straight down. Again, a little groove right here, 24 and 25. Not too much pressure, it's fast setting alginate. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. We have a little tester over here, but it sets up a little faster in the patient's mouth due to the, the heat and the moisture. Hmm. All right. Once you can't put your fingernail in it, again, I'm gonna put my finger here and gently rock it out. And great, good job. Again, we have all of the lip roll. We have the rim everywhere. We have her tongue, a great, great impression. Okay, now I'm going to spray them and we'll white wrap them with a towel. I sprayed them with our cavicide. I'm gonna wrap them in a towel. The cavicide will help uh, fight any of the bacteria that's on them and any diseases. Um, the paper towel is to, usually it'd be a wet paper towel to keep them from shrinking. But we're gonna go and directly pour them up now so we don't have to worry about them distorting. <laughs>